Soup doubles. Read all back to answer some more goddamn questions. Questions we're going over today. And they might be a good one, too. Dog's having a bad fucking day, so he's in a fucking throw him under the bus fucking mood. So let's see what the fuck we got. Oh, <laughs> perfect video for two. In a bind, too. Did a bit of a pinch. So I didn't proofread shit. Just found the next video line. So this better be a good one. New Dum Dum of the Day segments. How'd you guys like the Dum Dum of the Day segment? Let's see if we find any fucking dumb, dumb ass motherfuckers in this one. Hopefully we do. Because I'm in the mood to fucking crush them. Crush them and canoe fucking flip them. Anyways, first goddamn question mark at the bottom. Grind crusher, question marks. Why the hell do people want to watch other people listening slash reacting to music? Are they trying to validate their own musical taste? I don't need to see some see some <laughs> noob <laughs> noob or bozo <laughs> complimenting music I like. I mean, the only channel I know of, if you're referring to, I don't know if it's brought up in this. I don't know if it's brought up in this video. Is Amaya Kaya? She's the only one that I've seen reacting to videos. I know it exists, but I mean, I do reaction videos in general exist. Because I've seen reaction videos for nothing metal related. I can't think of what. Uh, one I stumbled across is uh, for The Punisher, the Netflix series The Punisher. One of the few shows I actually fucking like. Heard the goddamn, uh, he's doing a goddamn comeback too, another Daredevil series. So pumped for that. People ask J Dog, what do you like about shows? My favorite show in the last 10 goddamn years was the uh, Punisher Netflix series. Of course, J Dog liked it, so they fucking canned it for a while because anything I like, they fucking can. Uh, that was a banger. But I think there was some reaction video because I was searching for something Punisher came up. I didn't even watch it, but I think it was when, uh, for the first season, what's that guy called? Agent Orange or <laughs> that's uh, Sodom. But, or was he called it? He might have been called it. I don't think it was Agent Orange, but something like that because it reminded me of Sodom. The main guy that gets killed at the end, the torture scene, uh, which was, you know, pretty brutal. Um, I think there's a reaction video for that. So I knew, anyways, I've seen reaction videos. But the, as far as metal related, yeah, the only one I know is is Amaya Kaya's channel, and uh, she's okay by me. <laughs> you know, it's all good in the hood over here, so don't beat up on her as far as I'm concerned. I like her. Uh, as far as why people, so use her as an example, why would uh, someone want to watch that? Um, is what your question is? My guess is, I don't know, a fucking hot chick that doesn't seem like a stuck up, stuck up cunt that has an open mind to check out metal, you know, just getting into it. So people find it interesting, I guess. I mean, um, Personally, yeah, I don't really watch reaction videos or care, but um, as far as for her, because I mean, she's the only metal one I know and I've seen, I think that's her shtick. So I think that's why people like it, because she, she's got more subscribers than I do. So she's doing something fucking right. So somebody likes it. But if, you had, if you're asking me why do they like it, for her specifically, for the reasons I said. Now, if it's some just fucking hilljack jabroni sitting in his goddamn mom's basement with two teeth in his mouth and zero fucking personality... I mean, everybody's got their thing. Uh, yeah, I personally want to give a flying fuck what he has to say or think, but uh, maybe he's got followers too. So, but yeah, is it something I'm going to be watching? No, fuck no, I don't care. Odin Sire, J-Dog, do you like Defeated Sanity? Sick German brutal death metal, brah, brah. Eh, they were a band that kind of like, uh, weren't they after that 2005 era when I keep telling you guys? After 2005, brutal shit just got fucking lost the magic for the most part. Exceptions to the goddamn rule. Don't come over here and say anything fucking stupid. Well, Jade, all you like me is Mac Necrosis. You know, so you like brutal shit after 2005. I didn't say fucking nobody. I'm just saying, for the most part, goddamn it, lost the goddamn magic. Count Z Danavis gets business question. How has HH kept prices competitive in this shitty economy? I've noticed significant price increases at, at multiple other distros since the pandemic. Kind of more of a chasey boy question, but I mean, I think across the board, I mean, we just raise prices as 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 little as possible, but to the point where you're, you know, keep the goddamn lights on. I, mean, I can't be working for fucking free. So, um, yeah, just not trying to fucking bend people over the goddamn, over the goddamn coals. But at the same time, you know, still going to draw a profit too. Oh, look at this goddamn Ward Ant Reds in the goddamn house. Ward Ant Reds got a question. He's got a gym question. Fuck. More than red, he even goes to the fucking gym. Shit, I can't tell. He's all goddamn covered up. He's got the face mask on. I have no idea what the motherfucker even looks like. So if I'm at a fest or something, I'll bump into him. He's going to have to come up to me if he even gives a fuck about coming to me. If he doesn't, I wouldn't blame him if he doesn't. But because uh, I have no clue what he fucking looks like. I, I like That's kind of part of what I like about his channel, too, is the mysteriousness of it. He's got a shtick. He's got a costume. It's, you know, it's, it's, 
you know, it's something fucking different. I thought it was cool. He even disguises his fucking voice. I don't even, not only do I not know what he looks like, I don't even know what the fuck he sounds like because he disguises his voice too, which I also thought was kind of cool. Anyway, he's got a goddamn gym question. See what the fuck he's got to ask. Do you ever come across idiots? Oh, I come across idiots in the gym posting up lights and doing social media interviews on the equipment. <laughs> I've never seen interviews. <laughs> when I see stuff like that, I feel like slapping the shit out of them. Yep, 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 yep. People in general make me sick. People in general make me fucking sick too, as a, as a whole. Got that right, goddamn it. Um, as far as the gym, uh, the podcast shit is not the podcast. The, what do they call those tripods? Uh, it, it's a. The thing is, is if we had like a pro bodybuilder at our gym, which we don't, uh, we have some guys that compete in shit, but nobody on a pro level whatsoever. We've had a couple in all my years of my, my gym that I train at. There was two guys that for sure they were like national level. National level is like when you win that and you, you win your pro card. And they were definitely like, they're more than likely going to turn pro. They were very impressive. But they don't even train there no more. There was one, uh, there was yeah, just two guys. Well, there's, it's been quite a while since they, they've been there. But other than that, no pros. And, but what I'm getting at is just if they were setting out a tripod because they're a pro and they're in their physique, that that's literally their business. That's their, that's how they make their money. That makes sense. Dude, we got this one fucking Steve Urkel looking ass nerd at our fucking gym that sets up a tripod. And dude, the dude doesn't even look like he's trained a day in his goddamn fucking life. And I'm not ripping at him that there's nothing wrong with that. I, I, that's where I started too. You got to start somewhere. You don't just come out of the room fucking bursting out of the fucking your t-shirt looking like the goddamn Incredible Hulk. You got to start somewhere. I get that. But what the fuck are you filming yourself for, bro? The first thing that pops in my mind when someone's filming themselves, unless there's just something I, I'm un unaware of, he's filming himself for one reason and one goddamn reason only. It's because he's putting on some type of social media outlet, whether it be Instagram, shitty ass fucking YouTube like I do. Okay. So you're putting it out for other people to see what you're doing. Why would anybody give a fuck? Well, go back to the guy's reaction video. This is even more mind blowing. I mean, you guys know what Reaper looks like, right? Hellcast Reaper. Your brother, Craig, no fuck you want our fertile. He does. He does. Regular dude, right? This dude that I'm talking about literally looks like him. He actually looks like him, but with a little bit of body fat. So he actually looks like Reaper looks more fit than him. And Reaper's never been to a gym in his life, or at least for the most part hasn't. Um, and this guy looks, that's what I'm saying. So he's like skinny like him, but with like a little bit of a belly. On him. I want to call him fat. He's, he's a skinny fat, right? And he recording himself. W what the fuck are you doing, dude? Who, who would possibly listen to you for fucking advice? Why? It's not even like he's, God damn, who the fuck's calling this fucking phone? Do not call this motherfucking goddamn phone. We reckon has goddamn number. Get fucked. Suck a goddamn dick. But yeah, who would, who would listen? Like, who would listen to this guy? It's not even like, okay, well, maybe he was like a 50-year-old dude who he used to be fucking great in his prime back in the heyday, but he's an injured fucking lion now, but he's got all the technique and wisdom in the world. You can maybe make that argument. He's like 22 years old. So it's like, you ain't got wisdom. You ain't got the muscles, so get fucking lost, bro town. What are you fucking doing? Because that's, and there's a couple others that I've seen, but him, he's done it multiple. I see him, I see him at least once a week and at least probably twice a month or so setting up the guy down tripod. He's the only one I see regularly. I've seen a few others that set that shit up and they're the same caliber. It's like, dude, why is it, it's not even anyone that looks like he even remotely fucking lives. I understand not everybody wants to look like a fucking goddamn Nick Walker. I understand that. But it's like, come on, dude. You got to be at least somewhat fucking fit. You got to at least look like you're fucking athlete. You got to look, look like something if you're going to be fucking filming yourself. That's the way I see it. So that, that's partially because guys ask me too, hey, J-Dog, do you want to, uh, would you ever record gym videos and shit? I was like, ah, I really don't want to be that guy. Um that's the fucking reason why you kind of don't do that. Granted, would I look like as much of a canoe as that motherfucker? No, because again, that guy doesn't even look like he's touched a weight in his life. But still, I feel like kind of a uh, jackass doing it, to be completely honest with you. <clears throat> from Grim, J Dog, since you're from Ohio, have you ever tried the the chili? What does it taste like? I'm from Florida, so I don't know. I mean, isn't chili what's so fucking special about Ohio chili? Chili's chili, right? I mean, I don't think I've ever ordered chili at a restaurant in my life. The only chili I've had is either was homemade, whether by my parents. And uh, Lindsay was making chili when we got this fucking elk. We didn't catch an elk, long story short. My brother caught an elk. Motherfuckers are massive as fuck. They didn't know what to do with all the goddamn meat. So it was like, fucking, come on over, grab all the meat you want. And so I did. So we had a shitload of ground elk. And we made a lot of chili out of that. But, um, I don't know, chili, chili, right? Didn't know there's anything special about Ohio chili. 
Right in turn two, j Dog. question. Anytime someone asks me, asks me, what is my go-to record store? It's HHR. It's what I like to hear, brah, brah. I tell them the prices and the shipping is lowest you will find in huge selections. Yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, price and shipping. I'm sure those are competitive good, but I could definitely say, uh, again, put it in there. Not even my fucking haters yet have put it in there. Who has a bit bigger goddamn underground metal distro store than Hell's Headbangers? Put it the fuck in there. Who, who is it? I, I challenge you. Find somebody. Yeah, nobody's yet to do it. So, yeah, I think when it comes to distro-wise, the under the uh, metal store, online metal store, whatever the fuck you want to label it or call it, I'm, going off, I'm just going out and saying it. Hell's Headbangers is the largest in the world. If there's somebody else, school my ass. But I'm... I mean, it's not High Roller Records. It's not Dark Descent. It's not uh, Nuclear War Now. So I'm trying to think, guys, who have big distros, too, because they do. Uh, it's not Iron Pegasus. It's not Iron Bonehead. Um, yeah, I mean, who else would it be? Uh, put it in there if, if there is if there is somebody that I'm just out of the loop on. Uh, I'm fucking shocked when people say they never heard of HHR. Oh, yeah, a lot of hell's who's out there, brah, brah. That's why I do when they say that, and it's not an ego thing whatsoever. I can give two flying fucks if you don't like us or whatever. That's fine. But if you never heard of us, that tells me, oh, dude, you're not very into metal. Or if you are, at best case scenario, you're a download only guy because how do you buy metal merchandise and never stumbled across us? Because if you're Google searching certain titles or something, are, are, it comes up. It literally comes up. You'll get a link for something. So even accidentally, if you were buying underground metal music, you would have found out about us. That's how I fucking know when I need somebody. And we're kind of talking about metal, gets brought up, but it's early in the conversation. We didn't discuss bands at all. And the job gets brought up, business or whatever. And I just say, owner of Hell's Headbangers, right? Never heard of you. I said, just told me to listen to metal, blah, blah. That tells me you probably fucking don't. I am humble about it and educate them right there on the on the phone, on my phone, which leads to my question. Has HHR ever considered putting out an app? Most hated word in the goddamn world. Basically, it would be the same format as as the eBay app, I imagine. Cheers, bro, bro. Yeah, my most hated word. My most hated word, and nothing makes my fucking dick itch more than anything on this earth. When they're like, yeah, uh, set this up, whatever. Just download the app on your phone. I want to rip your fucking eyeballs out when somebody says that. Having said that, though, since J-Dog hates it, we probably will get one, though. I'm sure Chasey Boy will be all over it. He loves his apps. He's got an app for every guy. <laughs> He's even got the McDonald's app. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but I think he does, actually. <laughs> Odin Sire, question marks, J-Dog. Have you heard the album Solstice of Oppression by Oppressor? Sick 90s death metal album that I found for five bucks used at my local flea mart. No, I know Oppressor. No, I don't think I know that. Early 90s death metal. I want to uh, slip past the fucking dog. Don't know it. It sounds like one, though. Isn't that a band that uh, did it like Dark Symphonies or somebody reissue? Maybe Vic Records. If not, it sounds like somebody that they would. Uh, I'll need to give it to God. List. Like actually one I just listened to today, I just knew the name from, because um, that was a book. I, people ask me books I read. Uh, but one of the books I read, ACM Be a Fuck. Apparently the person that asked me that to ask is a fuck. You know that uh, Swedish death metal book? Um, it's about the Swedish death metal history. I read that when it first came out. It's been out for quite some time. We stocked it many times at Hell's Hell. We might even have some in stock. That's a very, very good book. Anyways, you get to the end, and it's got like, well, to my knowledge, and I think it is, unless they, shit, if it slipped past them, then it must be completely obscure. But it had like every demo and seven-inch and album by every Swedish band at the time, death metal, black metal, et cetera, up to whatever time when they were writing the goddamn book. And uh, so I knew a lot of the bands. Like, for example, a band I'm looking to hear from Sweden I never had. There's a band called uh, another Morg um, that's from uh, Sweden. I think the demo is 1992. That's all they did. I was like, there's a Morg from Sweden? So I've known this for quite some time when that book came out. I've yet to hear that demo to this day. I told that to my buddy Dan Merz. I'm pretty sure I have that demo. Uh, so maybe make me a CDR burn or something of it. And, uh, but I'd love to hear it. It might be the worst demo in the world. I don't know. I, but I just never heard it. But anyways, I listened to it today because it got reissued. was the band Vermin. The album in a plunge into oblivion. Uh, again, I knew of it from that book actually, but I, it was a not, it was a nine, I think that album said it came out in 1994. Uh, re, uh, reissue came out. They came in through Hell's, and uh, I picked up mine today. It's like uh, it's Swedish death metal, but with a punk edge. It's got like that. Uh, you know what? Some of the high the vocals too that are now the lows. They remind me of Sepsism, the Perulent uh, Decomposition, the first album. 
it reminds me of uh, that song, except with the real lows. Um, so the vocals kind of reminded me of that. So it's, oh, it's, it's, it's a cool release and a, a very enjoyable songs. But that was another band, for example, like I knew of them, but I didn't hear of them until today. So just because it's early 90s doesn't mean uh, I know I know it all. You know what I mean? But that is my preferred, uh, like I've always said, 87 to about 92. That's kind of like one of my preferred years for uh, metal. <laughs> Or at least death metal, black metal, grindcore. Um, not so much heavy metal. You know, if it was a heavy metal, you know, more so 80s on that. Um, but yeah, Vermin, that, that, like I said, it's a little bit off that cutoff, but early 90s still, 94. Uh, if you don't know it, Van Vermin, uh, check it out. I thought it was pretty goddamn fucking good. But so, not a familiar, I, I know the name Oppressor very well. I even want to say, I can even picture the goddamn logo, but I don't recognize the title of that album. So I want to say I, I don't. Well, I definitely don't know. It's, it, at, the, at best case scenario, I heard it, and it's the forgotten more metal than you know pile, and I definitely don't own. <laughs> Matthew Hamilton, question marks. Hey, J Dog, how do you feel about Slayer Undisputed Attitude? <laughs> I haven't heard it in years, but I can't imagine it's awesome. I am a fan of '80s punk crossover, so I dig it. Oh, is that the cover album where it's all uh, punk hardcore covers? But would not say it's. Top on the Slayer list. Well, I, mean, I don't even need to listen to it to know it's not as good as Show No Mercy. I would argue that. I mean, I just don't even need to hear it to know that. But it is a decent, fun listen. I'd be, I would have uh, preferred another album like Undisputed Attitude over stuff like Diabolus and Music Cut and God Hates Us All. Thoughts? I, I don't own it. I didn't have much interest in it. Uh, Slayer as a whole, though, as much as I beat up on them, which is funny, I beat up on them, but, uh, you know, part of it's for fun and talking trash in the goddamn channel. And you, know, you do something goddamn a little original. Who else is fucking just ripping on bands? A band they like. Like I said, Show No Mercy, one of my favorite albums of all time. Easily in my top ten, right? And Hell Awaits, uh, Rain of Blood, fucking love them. After that, kind of don't care. But of all the big bands, the big four or five or whoever you want to put it, when I think of the big boys, I'm thinking uh, Slayer, Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, Exodus. Those would probably be the big, big t top tier, right? Of all of them, I think uh, Slayer did the least damage, too, skis wise. Again, I rip out of the Diabolus and Musica, but all their stuff was still stayed aggressive. It still it was always metal. I mean, fucking load, goddamn alternative fucking album. Um, where's your crown king? Nothing. I mean, push why I don't need to re listen to Diabolus and Musica and re listen to Load now. I heard them both again, both when I was, I think it was probably 13, 14 when I heard both those, right? Well, 11 when I heard Lowe's, I was in 96, but very, very young. I haven't heard those since I was, at the latest, 13, 14 years old. Very, very, very young was the last time. And uh, I don't even need to, I would bet everything I have that I guarantee Die Balls and Music sends Lone Home on a fucking stretcher. So out of all of them, it's even negative. They got some bad ones. I don't know which ones I've heard, but God, I mean, I'm like the good albums. Uh, the good albums are the good albums, but they're the turd, turd ones. I've heard a couple turd ones. I'm like, this is turd city. Uh, and then, <laughs> Anthrax, whoo-wee, they got some bad ones. Exodus, I've heard some massive dog shit come out of that fucking camp. So out of all of them, I'd say Slayer went the least shitty. And again, even the last Slayer record, the last Slayer record was um, Repentless, right? That was the last one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I don't really keep up with Slayer. But they came in and... uh I heard people, oh, it's great, it's great. I put it on. As a whole, I didn't think the album sucked. Most of my, eh, not doing much for me. But I thought, I think it's the first two songs. The first song was Repentless. Maybe there's an intro or some shit. I thought, I've said it before, I thought the song Repentless was good. And I saw thought the song Take Control were good. Um, so I'm sure albums here and there, who knows? You Maybe Dive Awesome Music has one or two songs I would like. Maybe God Hates Us All. I don't even think I've ever officially listened to God Hates Us All. The only I know I heard is I walked in on it. Uh, I told the Hot Topic story. Why the fuck I was in there? Who the fuck knows? And it was around when that was a new album. I'm standing there listening to it. I've told it on this channel, but for the people who haven't heard it, this fuck, you got that fucking canoe in there with the big gear gauges, fucking tattoos on the neck, fucking head banging. Looks like he's fucking 17 years old, had hair on his dick for two goddamn years. He's, you know, thinks he's in the heaviest shit in the world, of course. They need to ask him, but that's what he's fucking thinking. I'm thinking, goddamn, what are these shitty ass fucking tunes we're listening to? Do? So it definitely fits the bill for this fucking canoe ass fucking store. I'm not even sure what the fuck I'm doing here to be god goddamn honest. And then it kind of goes, I'm like, I was like, is this, because I hear the thing, I was like, is this fucking, like, later goddamn crappy-ass Slayer? Because I kind of tell what Tom's singing. And then I asked him, it's like, hey, Canoe, Canoe Boy. I was like, who are we listening to? God hates us all, bro, by Slayer. 
and he's just headbanging again. I'm like, fuck it. I was like, it's about as shitty as I thought it was going to fucking be. Well, full disclosure, I was in there for <laughs> assuming I even finished the goddamn song. That's all I ever heard. So maybe it's got a couple songs on there I like. So as far as all the shitty fucking top tier boys, Slayer was the uh, least shitty. And at least their uh, lyrical content and stuff still stayed dark. Um, and again, it was metal. Even the God Hates Us All, it was metal. It's just like, it's just that, it's just that disgrace metal where it's like, oh, I don't even want to be associated with these fucking canoe ass motherfuckers. Because it's all the death core and metal core and fucking new core and new metal, whatever the fuck all that bullshit's called. It's for that clientele. Or at least that clientele eats that shit hand over fucking fist. Um, it's that whole thing. And it, it kind of fits too. It's, you know, kind of bouncy and shit like that. So. I'm not, I'm not sticking up for it and going back my word and saying that shit's good. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying if I had to choose, Slayer would be that. But the undisputed attitude and all she brought up to you, it's just, it's just an, I, dude, I didn't even, I, I didn't even care. You know what I mean? So they, they were already fucking gone at that fucking point. But credit is credit we're give, given. Credit is given where credit is due. There's those albums in there where I didn't give a fuck to check out. There may be a gold nugget song on there. Oh, it's a pretty good song. Because again, I like two songs that were pointless. So. Theoretically, some of their other gals has a song here and there. But even like I told, like Dead Skin Mask and shit, there is one. I don't really like it. I was like, the song kind of sucks, in my opinion. So, for the most part, I have heard it. I have a very good idea what it sounds like. And I, not for me, but I'll take it any fucking day of the week over the poser ass fucking mofos and goddamn Metallica. Get lost, get fucked, suck a fucking dick, bruh, bruh. Comments, much concerns, you know what they can do. But the guys, boss, get in the morning, clean it, goddammit.